Dear students and viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today, I will solve two maths, five and six from exercise 2.2. These questions are very important, so you should be very attentive and practice at home again and again. Now, solving question number five from exercise 2.2. Question number five from exercise 2.2. In a school, there are 500 students. There are 500 students. If the girls are 40 percent, the girls are 40 percent. Determine the number of boys. Determine the number of boys. You have to find out the number of boys. Total number of boys. Solution: The girls are 40 percent of 500. 40 percent of 500. The girls are 40% of 500. So, the number of girls equal to 40 divided by 100. Percentage means divided by 100. 40 divided by 100 of total number 500. Of total number 500. So, if we calculate 100 divided by 100, we get 1. 500 divided by 100, we get 5. So, 40 into 5 equal to 200. 40 into 5 equal to 200. So, the number of girls equal to 200. Now, we get, we get the number of girls equal to 200. So, the number of boys will be, so the number of boys equal to 500 minus 200 200 girls and boys and girls 500 minus 200 girls so we get the number of boys from total number 500 this 500 boys and girls total 500 boys and girls minus 200 girls so we get the number of boys so the number of boys equal to 500 minus 200 equal to 300 and this will be answer okay now I am solving question number 6, question number 6 from exercise 2.2, from exercise 2.2, question, David has obtained 600 marks out of 900 in the examination, in the examination, 600 marks out of 900, total marks 900, he has uh, obtained 600 marks. What is the percentage of marks he has obtained? You have to find out. You have to find out what is the percentage of marks he has obtained. This is the first part. And second part, determine the ratio of total and obtained marks. Determine the ratio of total and obtained marks. There are two parts in the questions. First part. What is the percentage of marks he has obtained? Solution David has obtained 600 marks out of 900. Out of 900, he has obtained 600 marks. So, he has obtained marks in percentage. So, he has obtained marks in percentage. 600 he has obtained divided by total marks, 900 into 100 by 100 for solving percentage you have to multiply it by 100 by 100 and these 100 you have to keep unchanged these 100 you have to convert into percentage so if we, if we calculate 900 divided by 900 divided by 100 equal to 9 600 divided by 100 equal to 6 and then 9 divided by 3 equal to 3 6 divided by 3 equal to 2 so 2 into 100 equal to 200 and 3 3 into 100 this 100 we have to keep unchanged so 200 divided by 3 percent 200 divided by 3 percent these 100 now uh, we convert into percent so it's a improper fraction 
So if we convert into mixed fraction, then we get 66 whole 2 by 3 percent. 66 whole 2 by 3 percent. And this will be answer for the first part. This will be answer for the first part. And now second part. Determine the ratio of the total and obtained marks. You have to find out the ratio of total marks and obtained marks. Now, ratio of total and obtained marks. Total marks 900 is to obtained marks 600. And uh, this is the ratio of total and obtained marks. So, 3 is to 2 divided by 300. If we divide, it by, uh, divide 900 divided by 300, we get 3. And 600 divided by 200, sorry, 300, we get 2. So, this is the ratio 3 is to 2. 3 total ratio, uh, total marks and 2 obtained marks. So, total and obtained marks equal to 3 is to 2. And this is the answer.